Aristotle said excellence is never an accident. Never forget that. Excellence requires focus, effort, execution, and above all, wise choices. Take that framing with you into all of your endeavors. Don't be hesitant or afraid of risk and change. If we're to really thrive in the 21st century, we need to embrace both of these. And with your Lehigh education, go forth and help people, our nation and the world, solve problems that need to be addressed. Oh, I was ecstatic about joining the, the Lehigh community. I thought it was a perfect fit for me and my personality. It, it's a place where you can develop meaningful relationships with um, sort of people from all of its constituencies, student, faculty, staff, alumni, uh, parents, uh, members of the local community. So for, for me, it's just been a fantastic experience. Well, it's a job you have to live, <laughs> and, and it's, a, it's a job you have to enjoy living. And I think uh, my approach was to try and create a, a culture of possibility at the institution. Uh, I don't think I have all of the ideas. There's no ownership on what are the great ideas to do. The, it's the question of how you get the community to put forth uh, really innovative things that can be done at the university and, and then to have good process for how you choose what would be strategically important for the institution to do, and then you need to make it happen. I, I think one of the things I'm really proud of at Lehigh is the College of Health, and I thank our community for uh, embracing the idea of a new college, for supporting a new college, and and then working with my team and others to, to make it a, a reality. I really like what we're doing in California. When I got here, one of the things that truly amazed me was the number of programs related to entrepreneurship and sort of the institution's ability to create in students an entrepreneurial mindset. And to now be able to connect that with true entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley and experiences in startup companies, I think is just a, a major step forward. Administratively, I think I'm most proud of hiring someone who could come in and, and lead our efforts and make it all of our responsibility to move forward. And, and I've been pleased with the progress we've made today. Well, Lehigh has been my home for the last six years, and what I'm gonna miss are the people. <laughs> I mean, I've just had great relationships here, both uh, on the campus and in the community, and some have become very close friends, and I'm, I'm really gonna miss that. One thing I'm really gonna miss is my relationship with Bob Donches. I think I've enjoyed a very special Bethlehem Lehigh relationship because of the sort of friendship and values that Bob and I have shared about what it means to be a university in, in this town. Uh, I'm really gonna miss the travel. Uh, I've gotten to meet uh, an amazing collection of, of alumni who have succeeded in a wide number of uh, professions. And it's just fascinating to, to hear their Lehigh stories and how their Lehigh experience shaped who they are, what career choices they made, and, and the contributions they've made to our society. That's, that's been a very special privilege. And I'm really gonna miss the events at the house with student groups. You got to do something that almost no parent gets to do with their, with their son or daughter in graduating from college. I mean, it was just a moment of, of immense pride, uh, both in Evan and in Lehigh. It was very emotional. The university at any point in this history is wet clay, right? And I'm looking for the next sculptor, right, who's going to just take this and make it better, right? That, that they have a, a vision 
for what Lehigh should be five to ten years from now, and they take all that has been done in the past, including the period I've been here, and they, they mold that and bring it forward to make Lehigh a leader in the future. I mean, that's the job. It was, I think, 2016, and we were greeting, I was greeting parents on the front porch of the house. And Evan walks out in my suit, this tie, actually, uh, with a proud parent button, and he had grayed his hair. And I'm just looking at this, and it's, and all I could do was just break into hysterics because he looked like me, a really scary thing. And then the two of us uh, stood on the porch for about an hour and greeted parents. 